The wellness revolution starts now. Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Hotsu. Welcome to the program today. I want to discuss with you a problem that occurs uh, in about 10% of the women that have children um, deliver a baby, and it's called postpartum depression, known as the baby blues. Oftentimes, women, after they have their baby, while they're even in the hospital, will have um, depressed moods. They'll develop anxiety. They'll have panic attacks. They'll get mood swings. They'll feel overwhelmed. And this continues after they come home, and they just can't manage things. They're unable to think clearly, uh, they, they, and, and they just can't manage the baby, and they feel terrible. So they see their regular physician, their OB-GYN, who goes, well, you got postpartum depression. We're going to put you on an antidepressant. Well, that's not the problem. The problem, postpartum depression is not caused by low levels of antidepressant drugs. It's caused by a hormonal change and hormonal imbalances. So this is what happened. In a pregnancy, the baby has, the developing baby develops a placenta that attaches to the inner line in the mother's womb. And it's where it exchanges oxygen. Uh, from the blood of the mother through the blood of the placenta, the oxygen chain, so the baby can be oxygenated. That placenta also produces high levels of progesterone as the baby marches through the pregnancy and the mother marches through the pregnancy. High levels of progesterone are produced. And progesterone is really a feel-good hormone for a woman. As a matter of fact, women in the last month of pregnancy also oftentimes get what they call a, uh, they get a burst of energy. They just feel like they got to clean everything up, and it's the very high levels of progesterone that are being made by the placenta promoting gestation. Progesterone promotes gestation, promotes pregnancy. That's the function of that hormone, particularly when the placenta is making tremendously super high levels of progesterone to protect the pregnancy. Now, once the baby is delivered, the placenta gets delivered too. Well, that placenta has been making progesterone. A woman's ovaries have been completely shut off. She's making no hormones at all in her ovaries. So it shuts it off. Now, once the placenta is delivered and there's no more progesterone, now those ovaries have to kick back on. And they haven't been working for nine months. Now, all of a sudden, They've got to crank up, and depending upon a woman's uh, age and her overall health condition, sometimes the ovaries just don't turn on and make progesterone, and she has these. She'll begin to get this baby blues, postpartum depression, where she just wants to remove herself from her family, and wants to lay in bed and cry, and just can't seem to take care of herself. And as I said, oftentimes doctors give them antidepressants. That's not the problem. The problem is she needs progesterone. With my daughters and with our guests here at the Hootsie Health and Wellness Center that were pregnant, we always told them the day after you have that baby, you begin to take progesterone. And we give them progesterone that they take to the hospital. It's funny, there are OB-GYNs don't really understand this trick of the trade to give them progesterone. And I have five daughters and we've had 20 and five daughters and two um, stepdaughters. And in the 25 pregnancies they've had all together, not one of them suffered postpartum depression. They did fine. And that's the same with women on our staff and guests at our center. We give them progesterone to take on day, uh, the first day after they have that baby, they start on the progesterone. Now, Sometimes this postpartum depression, when women don't take uh, the progesterone, may drag on because the ovary never really kicks back on right. They never make enough progesterone, and they become estrogen dominant. The hormone that's being made is estrogen hormone. It's not being balanced by the progesterone, and that adversely affects the uh, ability of your cells to incorporate thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland in the neck you're unable to incorporate that into the cells to be able to produce energy. So energy level goes down, and women will become functionally hypothyroid. This is very common as women march through their menstrual life as they become estrogen dominant, and this happens after pregnancy. So it's uh, not uncommon for women to become hypothyroid 
as they go through, if they develop postpartum depression and they don't get it relieved, then they have estrogen dominance. That produces thyroid binding globulin, which prevents the thyroid from getting in the cells, enabling the cells to produce and use energy. And so they'll have a decline in their energy, difficulty with their weight. Uh, they'll have weight gain, fluid retention, cognitive disorder, brain, brain fog, memory loss, uh, can't focus, inability to concentrate, they get joint muscle aches and pains. They may get sluggish bowels function or constipated. They get puffy. They get pale. Get a loss of the lateral third of their eyebrows. Their tongue swell, and you have modeling of the tongue, which is the tongue as the tongue enlarges, it grows against the teeth, and you can look at it. It looks like a pie, uh, the crust of a pie. It's uh, um, you can see the modeling effect uh, of an enlarged tongue. They get loss of body hair, pubic hair, and and they feel sick and tired, and they do get sick more frequently. They're unable to overcome infections like they used to in the past. Even They may even develop allergy problems. It's common for me to see women in their midlife who have come in and said, you know, I never had allergies until I had my second baby or third baby or first baby. My allergies are off the Richter chart. I used to do allergies only here at the OTL and Wellness Center, and once I started asking questions, I noticed that women— had problems after pregnancy, it was a, their allergies would develop. So I knew there was a hormonal component to allergies, and I just didn't know what it was until I began to read and study and learn and found that progesterone insufficiency can activate a gene in somebody. If they have a predisposition genetically towards allergies, it can activate those allergies right in the midlife that they've never had before. So in treating postpartum depression, we use two things. We use primarily immediately after the baby's born, start taking progesterone. If you haven't done that and you're depressed, uh, that can, uh, in lo lack of uh, progesterone leading to estrogen dominance, can adversely affect the thyroid, and you may need some thyroid hormone as well. So those two hormones, progesterone and thyroid, can help you overcome and prevent the problem of postpartum depression known as the baby blues. Now, if you'd like some information about that, then contact our center here uh, at 281-698-8698 and just ask for a copy of Hormones, Health, and Happiness. I'll be glad to send that book to you, uh, complimentary, and we'll pay the shipping charge. I want you to understand what's going on in your body so you can live a healthy life and have energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dr. Steve Hotze. At Physicians Preference Pharmacy, we understand that the quality of your compounded medications directly affects the way you feel, which is why we believe that your pharmacy should specialize in compounding medications while also delivering extraordinary hospitality and guest service. We believe that both patients and prescribers should accept nothing less than consistency and quality from their compounding pharmacy. This is why we've implemented some of the strictest quality standards in compounding, exceeding standard requirements, achieving PCAB accreditation, which is the Pharmacy Compounding Accreditation Board, an organization that sets the highest standards in compounding pharmacy regarding the safety, cleanliness, and quality of your compounded prescriptions. Because of our commitment to complete health and wellness, we are dedicated to making your medications free of lactose, parabens, artificial sweeteners, and any unnecessary dyes, binders, or fillers present in many other medications, offering you the cleanest products possible. Information provided on this program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this program is at the listener's discretion.